Welcome to VR Apocalypse. As a contractor for Next Gen Games in the year 2027, it is your job to pilot a drone through a virtual reality, telepresence system. The United Nations has hired the firm's defense services, to secure the planet Earth, and rid it of alien infestation. To calibrate yourself, face your body and head forward comfortably, then press and hold the recalibrate button. When you are ready to start, look at a map, and press the select button. Establishing neural link, with pilot 72734. Thank you for choosing Next Gen Games Remote Telepresence System T32. Welcome pilot. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your training. To center yourself, look straight ahead, then press and hold the recalibrate button. Calibration completed. When you feel off, recalibrate to recenter your body and mind. Move forward, by pushing forward on the left stick. Notice mild electricity ahead. Best option is to run, by holding down the left thrust button, while pushing the left stick. Safety block dropping, in 3, 2, 1. Remember, electricity hurts. Unfortunately, the T-32 system has limited energy that only allows short bursts of thrust. Do not worry though. Few trainees have died that followed instructions. Congratulations, you survived. Your health will regenerate soon. To celebrate, please spin in a celebratory circle by pushing the right stick left or right. You will, spin in a celebratory circle. Yay that was fun. Did you notice the oily anti-vestibular coating that appears on the cockpit sides? All T32 telepresence systems include this feature, to help fight nausea often associated with virtual reality. It appears when motion is detected and recedes quickly. You can turn off this comforting feature, by pressing the menu button. This menu provides more control of your drone settings such as modifying settings, where comfort mode can be turned off. Select the resume option to continue your training. You've done well, thus far. You will be rewarded for your submissiveness. First cannon, online. Physically move your head, to aim your weapon. Press right fire button to shoot. Destroy all cardboard targets in this room. For fortunate pilots, our allies may drop additional weapons for your use in the battlefield. New weapon acquired. Particle beam cannon known as Sunburn. Press the change weapon button to utilize. Although Sunburn is powerful, once it overheats it must fully cool down before it can be used again. Use on targets in the next room. Laser overheated. Exemplary work. Your mind and drone have fully fused together as one. The final targets, are captured alien prisoners. Known as Natantes Boletus, or Nats for short, they guard their nests fiercely. It is your job, to exterminate their nests, and hold their spread. Do not fear these alien scum. 
For the sake of this training session, we've surgically removed their defensive capabilities. Don't feel bad, it is for their own good, and we have not been able to conclusively confirm they feel pain. Our understanding is that the alien's spiritual belief is that the pinnacle of their good job, pilot. Congratulations, you have now been accepted as property of Next Gen Games. Enter the teleportation chamber. It's time to go to work. Welcome to VR Apocalypse. As a contractor for Next Gen Games in the year 2027, it is your job to pilot a drone through a virtual reality, telepresence system. The United Nations has hired the firm's defense services to secure the planet Earth and rid it of alien infestation. To calibrate yourself, face your body and head forward comfortably, then press and hold the recalibrate button. This abandoned bridge area has been taken over by alien invaders. A single alien horde nest must be found and exterminated. We estimate the nest will hatch in three to four minutes. Initializing virtual teleportation to drone near the alien invasion. This abandoned bridge area has been taken over by alien invaders. The aliens have laid a single horde nest that is protected by genetically engineered soldier organisms. Your mission is to find the nest and exterminate it before it hatches. We estimate the nest will hatch in three minutes. Good luck. For the sake of your health, you may want to avoid wide open spaces. Although lone individual aliens are low risk, families of aliens can be quite dangerous. I regret to inform you that you have failed. Earth and its entire human population has been wiped out. Fortunately the database has been saved, and that database can be used to simulate the world. To enter the simulation, try this same location again, or select a different scene. Entering simulation. This abandoned bridge area has been taken over by alien invaders. The aliens have laid a single horde nest that is protected by genetically engineered soldier organisms. Your mission is to find the nest and exterminate it before it hatches. We estimate the nest will hatch in three minutes. Good luck. For the sake of your health, you may want to avoid wide open spaces. Although lone individual aliens are low risk, families of aliens can be quite dangerous. Intelligence informs us that you may be able to hear the alien nest as you approach it. Laser overheat. Expect an increased number of alien soldiers as you come closer to the throne destroyed. <laughs> 